To observe the TCP three-way handshake, we'll send some packets, capture them with TCP dump, and then view them in Wireshark. Let's start TCP dump running. We're going to use the dash NN option to keep TCP dump from resolving host names and port names. We're going to listen on the local host because we're going to be sending packets just to a local server that's running here on this laptop. And we'll write our packets out to a file called temp packets. That way later we can import this file into Wireshark. We'll send some packets over to an Apache web server that's running on this host and it's listening on port 80. Also, while we're here, we'll go ahead and send packets to a port that we know is closed. For example, port 82 does not have any servers running on this particular machine. Now that we've sent a packet to a, the Apache server and also sent a packet to a closed port, let's look at them in Wireshark. First, we'll bring the TCP dump program back to the foreground. We'll stop the program and then use Wireshark to open temp packets. Looking at the packets in the order that they occurred, we can see that the first packet is the send packet. We'll look at that a little bit closer down here in this pane. We see that the destination port was port 80. And if we look closely at the flags, we'll notice that the syn or synchronize flag is set. So this is the first part of the TCP three-way handshake the machine that wants to initiate communications sends a synchronize or send packet, which is a packet with the send flag set to the port that it wants to establish a connection with. Second, the receiving machine, in this case the Apache web server, responds with a send ACK packet. Let's look closer at what this means. What we'll see in this SYNAC packet is both the synchronize and also the acknowledgement bits are set, hence the name SYNAC. According to the RFC, if the port is open and a machine receives a SYN packet, it must respond with a SYNAC, and this Apache server is following the protocol. Finally, the third part of the three-way handshake. The original machine that wanted to set up communications acknowledges the SYNAC with an ACK. So it responds with a TCP packet with the acknowledgement bit set, but notice that the SYN is not set. And this completes the three-way handshake. Now these two machines are ready to trade packets over the TCP protocol. And the fourth packet will be the data. We click on the fourth packet and we see the word howdy is being transmitted. The acknowledgement bit is set and the push bit is set. Push is often seen when data is being sent, when the packet actually contains something besides just TCP headers. We notice that the Apache server acknowledges receiving this packet that contain the word howdy in it. Now let's take a look at the port that was closed. Remember that we sent a packet intentionally to port 82 knowing that it was closed just to see what would happen as a counter example. The send packet is sent as before 
However, the receiving machine, having a closed port, sends back a packet acknowledgement, but it also contains a reset packet, meaning that it does not want to communicate because the port is not open. So using TCP dump, Wireshark, and Netcat, we were able to send a TCP packet and review it in Wireshark.